Leaf, let's get right into what's popping. And we have some sad news to bring you this afternoon. Reverend Billy Graham has died. The legendary Baptist minister and evangelist passed away at the age of 99 at his home in North Carolina. Graham was one of the most influential religious voices in American history. He prayed with every U.S. president, from Harry Truman to President Obama, and reached more than 215 million people in upwards of 185 countries. 99, incredible life. Hey everyone, about 35,000 workers at Disney World are demanding the bonuses they say they were promised last month. Disney announced a $1,000 bonus for employees, including those represented by unions. But the union says Disney will only give its workers the bonus if they accept a wage offer that the union already voted against. Catch this, that offer was 50 cents an hour raise over the next two years. 50 cents. Hmm. Not much, huh? Oprah Winfrey is stepping up to support the March for Our Lives movement. The media mogul is matching George and Amal Clooney's donation of $500,000. Winfrey took to Twitter to share her support, saying these inspiring young people remind me of the Freedom Riders of the 60s, who also said they'd had enough and our voices will be heard. And country music legend, I love this woman, Dolly Parton, is set to donate her 100 millionth book from her imagination library. Charity, Parton's organization, mails free books to children from birth until they start school. Parton plans to visit Washington next week for a special presentation at the Library of Congress. Now the performer has said her father's literacy inspired her to start the program back in 1995. She has such a big heart. Always I love this in woman. So much charity. Oh, up next, pop singer Kesha is postponing some of her upcoming tour dates because she has to have ACL surgery. She announced the news on social media Tuesday, saying she was heartbroken to have to postpone the shows. Kesha's torn ACL was apparently the result of a fall she suffered during a performance in Dubai this month. Interesting, interesting. Hey, Paul Marciano is stepping back from his company guest as the company completes its investigation into the sexual misconduct allegations against Marciano. The board of directors at Guess agreed that Marciano will relinquish his day-to-day -day duties on an unpaid basis. Reality star and model Kendra, Kendall Jenner says she's a hypochondriac and struggling with anxiety. On Sunday night's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the 22-year-old said not having time to process many traumatic moments in her life recently, that's what's triggered the anxiety. Jenner is referring to an October 2016 incident in which her older sister Kim was robbed at gunpoint in Paris. Then months later, Jenner herself was the victim of a robbery. Hey everyone, that's what's popping and we'll be back right after this short break. You're watching Midday Contact.